Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. This is going to be a kind of a small haul video. I actually got employee of the month at my job. <laughs> and so part of being the employee of the month is they give you a $50 gift card to Target. So I did some shopping at Target. I of course spent more money than the gift card is worth. But that is inevitable. Um, so anyway, I'll just show you what I got. All oh, everything is beauty related. So I will start with this organics shampoo. I'm going to mispronounce that, so I'll let you just read it. I used it once, and I love it. I really like all of the organics products. I haven't found any of them that I don't like yet. I know they don't work for everybody, but um, they do for me, and they all smell amazing. So uh, attached to the shampoo is this little sample of dry styling oil. Um, so obviously I haven't used that yet, but I thought that was nice. Let's see. I took it out of packaging, but I got, um, it's just a Target eye crease brush. I bought it pretty much for blending purposes, um, in case I have any harsh lines. This is really soft. Like this, I'd say this is honestly softer than my Sony Kashuk ones. So, I don't know. I know Sony Kashuk's not that good, but it's all I can afford. <laughs> anyway, um, I got just some Target nail polish remover because I was running very low. Let's see, I got this Garnier Skin Renew Anti Puff Eye Roller. It's not just for anti-puff, it's also to help um, dark circles. So I will let you guys tell me if you notice a difference in my dark circles. That's one thing I worry. I don't really worry about wrinkles. I mean, I do, but I don't. But more so just trying to cover my bags under my eyes. Okay, I got this Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro. It is a um, face primer. I've only used it once, so I don't quite have an opinion on it yet. But when I do, I'll let you know. It says it smooths, resurfaces, brightens, mattifies, and protects. Um, this is the packaging for the headband that I'm wearing right now, and I see my camera has gone out of focus, like it loves to do. But I think you still see this is the headband. It's actually two pieces, um, a silver and a gold. And so I thought it was pretty cute. They advertise. Oh, my camera. All right. Let me get to focus. Focus. Okay. They advertise that um, this is to be like, where does a headband, where does a necklace? I don't really see myself wearing it as a necklace because, I mean, it's just, you know, black, stretchy, elastic headband. So I don't think it's going to be cute as a necklace, but I, I do like it in my hair. I mean, because you can wear one or the other or both. So I like it. Let's see, um, I got this e.l.f. lipstick, let me find the packaging, here's the packaging, in, it's in the color Fantasy, and it smells really good, so here's the color, I know it's nighttime, so the lighting is awful, but, so you can see, it's a nice color, it's not, it's not too dark or anything like that. So, the only thing about this is, um, like when I was putting it on my lips, I can tell that the actual stick of lipstick isn't completely, like, stable in the packaging. But, other than that, I like it. The, I also, I got two of the, I have a hair here. I got two of the e.l.f. glitter glasses, so I got them in these two colors. Um, this is... Glam Guava, and this is uh, Crystal Cranberry, I think. Yeah, Glam Guava. Yeah, Crystal Cranberry, okay. Um, I like them. 
the I've had this I've been using this for a few days now and I think the lasting power is actually pretty good because you know obviously I put it on in the morning and um, I think it was like two hours later two and a half hours later um, it was still on and you know I had been drinking coffee drinking water uh, I ate um, some yogurt with some Nola and looking at my lips and they were still glossy still had some um, you can still see some of the glitter to it, so pretty impressed. They both smell really good. The only thing I don't like about them is the applicator. It's just one of those, you know, it's a brush applicator. And I personally prefer a doe foot because I feel like with a doe foot, I can do it faster. I can do it more on the go, whereas an applicator like this, I feel like I have to have a mirror in front of me to make sure I don't mess it up because I will. Anyway, let me just swatch these for you. So this one is the Crystal Cranberry. Ooh, my lighting's bad. Crystal Cranberry and then the middle one there is the Clam Guava. They're, they're both really nice. I also, from ALF, got this um, lip stain. It is in the color Birthday Suits. So I haven't used it yet, so I really don't have much of an opinion. But I was really wanting a lip color pink like that. So that's why I got that. Let's see. I got this from Sally Hansen. It is hard as wraps. So it's supposed to be like pretty much like a super duper top coat, if you ask me. Um, powerful acrylic gel makes nails hard as wax in 60 seconds. Um, so it says it seals and hardens. So I'm really, really hoping this works. I'll let you know when I have a full opinion on it. And then to go with that, I got, I just got a Wet n Wild, um, Wild Shine in Black Cream. Yes, Black Cream. So, if you watched my last video, you saw that I only had like this tiny little bottle of really, really cheap black nail polish. And so I needed to make sure I had uh, a good black to go with my uh, finger paint flaky polish. So that's why I got this. And then this was just calling my name. <laughs> I walked by it and walked by it. I was like, I have to have that. So it is from Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear. It is, oh, this lighting is not doing it justice. It is a fuchsia and blue sparkly, sparkly nail polish. It is called Rockstar Pink. And this will definitely be the next polish I use on my nails. So I think that concludes all the beauty-related items I bought, besides my contact lens solution. Um, so as I form opinions about these things, probably film a review, or I'll let you know in one of my videos. If um, there's anything you want me to review first, just let me know. If you have any other requests for videos, just uh, drop them down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I really mean a lot to me. If you have a beauty channel, let me know because I really like watching them. Um, and I think that about sums it up for today. I just got home from work, so if you're all like, oh, at the way I look, that's why. I was at work. Um, on my eyes, I am wearing the Veteran from Glamour Doll Eyes. So, in case you're wondering, the site is still down to regular sales, but they're currently um, having of the month that you can buy. It's a new new thing they're starting where they release one brand new product a month, and it's only released for that month. So you can buy that right now. Um, they have some specials right now of uh, limited time shadows, and um, you can buy a subscription. <laughs> 
for the of the month products to make sure you get it because the of the month products are going to be limited to 100 per month. So if you have a subscription, you'll be guaranteed, which I'm contemplating doing. Um, but the rest of the shadows aren't available yet because the woman who runs the company makes them and sells them and ships them. She had surgery, so she's still recovering, so she doesn't want to make all the products available again yet because she isn't confident that she'd be able to make them and get them out. But anyway, I'm keeping my eyes open for when they come back because I definitely want to reorder some of the sample shadows that I did. If you haven't watched my videos, you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so go and watch my videos and subscribe. Um, anyway, that concludes the video for today. I'm making it much longer than necessary. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, any uh, requests, leave them down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd really, really appreciate it. And I, I'll see you next time. Bye.